there are many more complicated aspects of environmental control that are possible with the use of conductive aerosols, including the modification of the electrical nature of the atmosphere as well as thermal instabilities induced by interactions with the magnetic field of the Earth. Storms depend upon the electrical exchanges that take place within the atmosphere. Lightning is the result of electrical imbalances that occur in the electrical fields between the Earth and the atmosphere, altering the collection and distribution of rainfall, interfering with the electrical exchange of energy and producing thermal or heat instabilities, all of these point to a very realistic assessment that environmental modification and control is likely a fundamental agenda within the aerosol operations. The United States Air Force has publicly disclosed a doctrine of owning the weather by 2025, and many have good reason to believe that such objectives have in part already been accomplished. This brief introduction to this topic only considers impacts upon the atmospheric shell literally an eggshell of life that surrounds this planet. Understanding the full environmental impact, including the soil, the seas and lakes, the flora and fauna, the agriculture that sustains us, can only lead to an ominous portent of environmental change that we must pay the price for with our apathy. Not only are the moisture and heat characteristics of the atmosphere altered with the introduction of aerosols, but the electromagnetic properties have likely been changed as well. An ion is a charged electrical particle, and all of the data supports the claim that massive amounts of easily ionized particles are another important part of the grand geophysical picture. There are some elements that can actually become charged with the energy from ultraviolet light and even visible light in some cases. Barium is one such element that falls into this category. The implications of being able to modify the atmosphere electrically and magnetically are enormous, and a variety of physical methods that are used to transfer, manipulate, control, and propagate energy in that medium must then be considered. As an example of how a small change can produce a major effect, Consider the following statement from Lancaster University in the United Kingdom on the topic of the ionosphere. Quote, Although less than 1% of the upper atmosphere becomes ionized, the charged particles make the gas electrically conducting, which completely changes its characteristics. The ionosphere can carry electrical currents as well as reflect, deflect, and scatter radio waves. Unquote. What we see, therefore, is that a small change in the electrical properties of the atmosphere, be it the upper or now lower atmosphere, completely alters the way in which that shell around the Earth can be used. 